we are both so incredibly excited right now to welcome David Albert and Robert Kirkman to the stage. Let's give them a round of applause. You guys can be excited too. I'm excited oh to be here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh God. Yay. I'm slightly less excited, but still excited. Okay, so it's like a, a, like a six. Have okay. you looked around? Yeah. Ooh, now I'm more excited. I have to ask you about air. Your yes. New film is Congratulations on air. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, air, fun science fiction movie that we did with uh, Norman Reedus and Jaimon Hanzu. It's uh, directed by Christian Cantamesa. Uh, we, we just announced that we're doing a video game with it. We are. Very exciting. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, so Christian comes out of the video game world. He was a creative lead on Red Dead Redemption, which is a pretty awesome game. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, one of the, the only good cowboy game, right? <laughs> Sunset Riders. Oh, it, that's the side-scrolling arcade game. All right, all right, fine, fine, fine. All right. There are two. Okay. Exactly, <laughs> exactly two. That's it. So anyway, so Christian will be working on the game with us as well. So that was a really great treat for us. Now, Robert, I've read that you have compared Air to Alien, the film. Uh, what similarities would you say there would be that people can expect when they see Air? I think that, uh, you know, Aliens is like a very, very grounded sci-fi. It's very like... Um, you know, it's like a, it's like George Lucas's used future. You know, it's like it's it's very gritty. It's very, uh, uh, you know, it's not this polished Apple Store sci-fi that you see in so many science fiction movies these days. It's uh, it's 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 earthier. I like to say. Well, I mean, I think what's what's great about it is it's also it's a great character study. We have an amazing journey. Norman Reese and Jaimon Hanzu give two of the best performances I think you'll ever have seen from them. Um, really amazing, intense sort of back and forth between them, and their relationship happens to be sort of emotional and intense set against this post-apocalyptic sci-fi backdrop. I mean, on top of all that, of course, the uh, the, the spin-off for The Walking Dead that you yeah. guys have coming yes. out. Uh, so have you have you had a lot of chance to kind of reveal what that what's going on there? I know it's a different location. There hasn't been much No chance reveal. to reveal anything. But uh, uh, no, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're dealing with a different timeline. I can say that. Okay. Uh, you know, it's it's some people have called it a prequel. It's not a prequel. Oh, okay. It's it's not like the uh, the show will end before we catch up to where the Walking Dead show began. Uh, you know, there will be times where the two series are kind of, you know, like it might be that season one of the original show is happening at the exact same time of, as season two or three of the uh, spinoff show. Interesting. Uh, so so they are in the same world. Um, but, uh, you know, it's different people in a different setting uh, doing their own thing. There's going to be uh, uh, very different stories that we explore with this show. Mm -hmm. There will definitely be zombies in it, you know. you got to have that if you're going to do a Walking Dead of thing. Of course you do. But uh, it's going to be a new show that can stand on its own. Is next season the season where they actually run out of gas or not yet? That will never happen. <laughs> no, <laughs> that will never happen. How is that possible? Science. Science. My, that's my answer to everything. Okay. I believe it's you. Science. It's your world. It's, it's science. No, look, uh, people don't know this, but if you actually uh, keep gasoline in an old automobile, uh, it will last forever. And I people read think it, it like evaporates and dissolves and stuff. Okay. Not true. Yeah, somebody said it turns into napalm because no. it like, separates. Oh, come on. Tyler Durden told that's me. That's orange juice. <laughs> It's the miracle of Hanukkah, done through the apocalypse. Oh, that's great. I read a theory that so many people are dead in the series, that there's just enough gas for the very, very few that are still living. It's true. That, that I, will, I will take that and, and use that as, a, as an excuse <laughs> later. Uh, it's certainly not stretching reality in any way. It's totally a real thing. What, what would be your dream casting person to have in the series? You, you each get one. Who would you love to have? Uh, Ed O'Neill. Ed O'Neill. Love me some okay. Ed O'Neill. Yeah, just like as as his... Uh, as Ed O'Neill. Okay. <laughs> just modern what family, am I doing here? Modern family's over. The apocalypse yeah. happened. He's fighting off zombies. What do you uh, mean, a badass? You're hearing like it here first. Uh, Ed O'Neill is in the Walking Dead spinoff set in L.A. as awesome. Ed O'Neill. <laughs> yeah. I, I wish, but no. Like the Bill Murray cameo in uh, Zombieland, right? Way better than that, because okay. it's Ed O'Neill instead of Bill Murray. <laughs> oh, shot oh, fired at Bill Murray. Oh, no. The internet, it just blew up. Bill, Bill Murray's <laughs> watching this now going, Kirkman. <laughs> yeah, he loves PayPal live yeah, streams. It's he does. A, he's huge on that. What about yourself? I, I'm going Bill Murray. I think it's an obvious oh, show. Oh, that's Boo. a cop out. Boo.